Even though it's pretty clear that Calgary's biggest pest likely has more friends and enemies, at this point in his young career, he's still managed to form notable bromances throughout the league with a select few. In this video, I'm going to talk about the love that Chucky shares with these five players. And with that, here are the five players that Matthew Kachuk loves the most. A bromance born from Ritual, Matthew Kachuk and David Riddick have warmed the hearts of Flames fans all around with their unique post-game celebration. Similarly to the previous post-game ritual between the Columbus Blue Jackets' Captain Nick Foligno and former netminder Sergei Bobrovsky, Kachuk and Riddick have given Flames fans another reason to enjoy a W. After the buzzer sounds following a win, Kachuk and Big Dave Save immediately take part in a heartwarming embrace that makes each win that much sweeter. It was a little hug that turned into a big hug, that turned into a jumping hug, that turned into a big jump and hug, Kachuk says. It kind of keeps going a step further each time. This might be the last stage of that. But as far as Calgary's starting that minder is concerned, he can handle the progression, saying, he is always last to come over and congratulate, so I know he's coming, he says. It was pretty easy at the start of the season, but right now, it's kind of a hard hug. But he's not that heavy, so it's easy, he says. Did you chat with Matthew after he tied it up? Did you say anything to him post game? Yeah, maybe thanks, bro. I love you, <laughs> or something kind of like that. During his time spent playing for the OHL's London Knights, Kachuk formed chemistry on and off the ice with line mate and team co-captain Mitch Marner. The two not only shared the experience of winning the Calder following the 2015-16 season, but were also able to relate with the pressure that comes with being drafted in the first round as a top prospect. Despite having thousands of miles between them, the duo reportedly remained in touch during Kachuk's rookie season along with fellow Knights line mate Christian Dvorak through group texting and Snapchat. I talk to them quite a bit, Marner says. I talk to Devo pretty much every day. Chucky and I talk once a week. Just talk about everything that's going on and how they like it, he says. And yet another Toronto prodigy on this list, Matthews, became acquainted with Kachuk long before junior hockey. In fact, contrary to popular belief, the two actually first were on opposing sides before their days as teammates playing for Team USA. As Kachuk and Matthews both participated in the 2010 Quebec International Pee Wee Hockey Tournament, Kachuk representing the St. Louis Blues minor hockey team and Matthews the But it wasn't until years later that their bromance came about, as both not only participated in the U.S. National Development Team program, but also shared the experience of winning gold for their country in the 2015 U18 World Championship. We had a slogan with USA, champions walk forever. I still keep in contact with all those guys, Kachuk says. What we had was special. The two reportedly remain in touch today, as Kachuk alluded to while giving his take on Matthew's latest contract. I'm happy for him. It's a lot of money. I'll text him here in a little bit, and hopefully he'll pick up a nice little dinner the next time you see him. Former teammate and childhood friend Luke Cunnan has known Kachuk for most of his life, as the two began playing hockey together when Kachuk was five years old. Coached by Matthew's father and former NHLer Keith while playing for the St. Louis AAA Blues, the two quickly became fast friends. And it was when Luke entered sixth grade that Kachuk's came in clutch for the forward, soon after he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. As Matthew and Keith both had a hand in arranging for Cunnan to meet the St. Louis Blues forward at the time, BJ Crombie, who is also a type 1. And according to Luke, it was just what he needed. Keith Kachuk played for the Blues, and his son Matthew was my best friend. He introduced me to BJ, and when I talked with him, he made me feel really comfortable and said to call him if I ever needed anything. He has diabetes and is doing what I dream to do. So from then on, I never looked back and never said I couldn't do it, he says. The two remained close growing up while sharing similar experiences, including playing side by side for the US National Team Development Program and being drafted in the first round in the 2016 NHL entry draft. Even though they no longer play side by side, there's no doubt that these two will be bros for life.
Seemingly a no-brainer, being number one, Brady and Matthew have had the unique privilege of playing on hockey's biggest stage prior to growing up side by side, watching their father do the exact same thing. And just like you'd expect, the brothers growing up had lives centered around hockey. Whether it was breaking windows or the garage door while playing alongside their father or spending time rinkside soaking in NHL practices, the Kachucks not only share the bond brothers do, but also all the experiences that the NHL has to offer. And even though they may be separated by thousands of miles today, they still find ways to playfully chirp one another. As Matthew recently let his little brother know, following his first fight with Detroit Red Wings' Justin Abdelkader, he approved by texting, according to Brady, he texted me and wanted to know how it went, said it looked good, and said you're a nail gun, so I got a pretty good laugh with that one, Brady says. Regardless of your personal take on the Kachuk brothers, you have to admit that these guys know how to keep things interesting. Yeah, I mean, then he texted me, he just said, you're a nail gun, so got a pretty good laugh with that one, but no, he's, uh, he's a pretty tough customer himself. 